We we're talking about ratios, proportions, and rate of change. And here we have some proportions and we like to solve them. So we're going to use our means and extremes to uh, get these in a form that we like. Right now we have these in fractions with variables on the, in the denominator and that's not a fun way to solve. So we're going to do our means times our extremes. So we're going to say 4 times x plus 5 and that's going to be equal to 16 times x plus 2. So first thing is we got to distribute. So we're going to say 4 times x, 4 times 5. 4 times x is 4x, and 4 times 5 is 20. And we can do the same thing. 16 times x is 16x, and 16 times 2 is 32. Then we can work on getting our like terms together. So I like working with positive numbers. So I'm going to subtract 20 from both sides of the equal sign. Uh, the 20s cancel over here, and we're left with 4x on the left. And on the right, we're left with 16x uh, plus 12. Then we want to subtract 16x from both sides. And then we get negative 12x is equal to 12 because our negative 16 cancels. And then we're going to divide both sides by negative 12. And our 12s cancel. And 12 divided by negative 12 ends up being negative 1. So we get x is equal to negative 1. Then we can look at number nine, and it's the same thing. We're going to do our means, or excuse me, our extremes in this case, which we have five times four, and we use parentheses to show multiplication, and that is going to be equal to the extremes, excuse me, the means, which is negative 12 times x plus 1. So on the left side, we get 20. 5 times 4 is 20. And on the right side, we get to distribute the negative 12. And we want to distribute the whole thing, including the sign. So we get negative 12x minus 12. From there, we want to solve. So whatever we do to the right or left, we got to do to the other side. So we're going to add 12 to get rid of, or to get the variable all by itself. Our 12s cancel, and we're left with 32 equals negative 12x. And then we can divide by negative 12 to get the x by itself. And we get negative 32 over 12. And we want to have it in the most reduced form possible. So we want to divide the numerator and the denominator by 4. And 30, negative, the negative is going to stay because there's a negative in the numerator and a positive in the denominator. 32 divided by 4 is 8. And 12 divided is 3. And so that is our solution right there. And then we have number 10, same thing. We'll do our multiply our extremes. So 3, three times x minus 1, and that is going to be equal to negative 4 times 2. And then what we get, uh, we distribute the 3 to everything in the binomial there, and we get 3x minus 3, and that is equal to negative 8. Negative 4 times 2 is negative 8. Uh, then we want to 
solve from there using Gemdas. So we're going to add 3 to both sides. And then we get 3x is equal to negative 5. And then we can divide both sides by 3. And then we get x is equal to negative 5 over 3. And that is in simplest form.